Hey guys, we continue study price elasticity of the demand curve and in this video we'll talk about price elasticity and total revenue. We're going to go back to example about the website that we already uh, discussed in the previous videos and um, I want you to think about this scenario again. I'm going to remind you a little bit. Let's suppose you own a business and you decided that you need to increase the price of the product that you're selling. And the goal of this increase in price, you want to increase your total revenue. You want to increase your total revenue. Remember, from one point of view, when you increase in the price of the product, you're going to get more money for each unit that you are selling. You're going to get more money for each unit that you're selling. But based on the law of demand, remember, you're going to sell less units, quantity demanded is going to be less so our question is again from one point of view you are getting more money for each unit that you are selling when you increase the price of the product but from the other point of view based on the law of demand you're going to sell less less quantities so question is will you still get higher revenue or because you're selling less units maybe your revenue is going to go down or because you're charging higher price, is your revenue going to increase? So, um, and the answer really for this is going to be, it depends on elasticity. So in our example, we're going to take our websites. And remember, initially you were charging $200 a website, and then you decided to increase it to uh, 250. The formula for total revenue, is going to be price multiplied by quantity. And again, our question is, is the effect of the increased price going to prevail or is the effect of decreased quantity going to prevail um, um, our you know and then what is going to happen the question is what is going to happen with our total revenue so pretty much our question is which effect is bigger higher price that we're charging or lower quantity that we're going to sell so let's Look at the example so in this example the um table kind of like uh, the graph is already written um for you so the demand uh we are looking at demand for your website so when the price of the website is 200 dollars you are selling 1200 units but when we increase in the price to 250 dollars you're going to sell only less units so once again what are we going to do we're going to calculate total revenue at both price points and then we're going to calculate elasticity of this demand curve using a midpoint method and we'll make a conclusion okay what is happening with the total revenue you know and we're going to look at that elasticity so let's do it all together so total revenue Total revenue is equal price multiplied by quantity. If so, if price is equal to 200, so we're starting from this price, and quantity is equal, remember, at the price of 200, quantity is equal to 12, and quantity is equal to 12, then total revenue remember once again price multiplied by quantity we have 200 multiplied by 12 and total revenue is going to be equal exactly to 2400 uh, 2400 so that's total revenue if the price is 200 now I'm going to put over here if price equals to 250 and quantity is equal to 8 so if price is equal to 250 remember quantity at this point is going to be 8 then our total revenue remember it's price multiplied by quantity 250 multiply by 8 and total revenue is going to be equal exactly to $2,000. So my question is guys, 
here you go we increased the price of the product so we went from 200 to 250 what happened with the total revenue do you see the total revenue has actually decreased because initially when we were charging 200 dollars for for our website then um our total revenue was 2400 when we increased the price to 250 all of a sudden our total revenue has actually decreased so what are we going to do now we're going to use a midpoint method to calculate elasticity of this demand curve and then at the end we're going to make a conclusion how is this total revenue and elasticity comes together so remember midpoint method in calculating elasticity i'm going to write down the formula price elasticity equals percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price so let's suppose we're going to start with quantity demanded first we need to find midpoint I hope that you guys are taking a piece of paper and write it down with me so you can reinforce your learning. So midpoint quantity. Again, it's easy to look at these two points from the graph and tell what is the midpoint between 8 and 2. But I usually like to do it still mathematically correct on the paper. 8 plus 2, I mean 8 plus 12 divided by 2. Remember, why do we divide by 2? I explained that in the previous video because we find a midpoint between only two numbers. So therefore, midpoint is equal to 10. And then percentage change, percentage change in quantity demanded. So now we're taking the difference between two numbers. I usually take higher number, subtract the lower number, and we need to divide by this midpoint. Remember, guys, that's why it's called midpoint method in calculating elasticity. It's not a classical method to find percentage change between two numbers. It's a midpoint method to find percentage change um, in two num between two numbers. So, and therefore, I believe it's going to be uh, point, uh, point, point 0.4 or 40%. So it's going to be 0.4 or 40%. So that was percentage change in quantity demanded. Next one is percentage change in price. So first we need to find midpoint price. Again, you can probably look at these two numbers from the graph and easily say that it's going to be 225. So I like to write it down. I will put 250 plus 200 divided by 2 and therefore midpoint is equal to 225. And now percentage change in price. Now we take the difference between two numbers. 250 minus 200 divided by this 225 and if you're going to calculate this it's going to be 0.22 or 22 percent so guys before i'm going to put these two numbers into a formula remember let me take a different color so so we have these two percentages that we calculated remember we already learned about the variety of the demand curves so do you see that quantity demanded proportionally moved more than the price so before I go to calculate over here and it will get that you know like higher than one or less than one so what kind of elasticity of the demand curve we're talking about here remember we're talking about elastic demand because proportionally quantity demand that change way more than the price remember elastic demand this is demand that is higher than one so let's put it into a formula and see so 40 percent percentage change in quantity divided by 22 percent percentage change in price and if we're going to calculate it it's going to be 1.81 it's greater than one therefore this is elastic demand so this is elastic demand why did we want to know if this is elastic or inelastic demand remember we're trying to to analyze elasticity and total revenue so here you go we have elastic demand remember when we increase the price of the product from 200 to 250 what happened with the total revenue total revenue has decreased 
So therefore, if we have elastic demand, increase in price of the product will decrease total revenue. Let me write it down on the next um, slide. So I'm going to put numbers over here um, or table over here, and we'll look at this table a little bit um, you know discuss this table a little bit more so i'm going to make a conclusion so for elastic demand for elastic demand if price of the product is increasing then total revenue is going to decrease guys and remember it works the other way if price of the product is decreasing then total revenue is going to increase so you will have this is this is your this is your rule that you need to remember highlight it somewhere put it somewhere put it in the um you know in the box put some flowers stars exclamation points you know remember remember this rule so you will have a question on the exam for example you know in small business trying to increase its total revenue and we know that the price elasticity of the demand for the product that they are selling is elastic. In order for them to increase total revenue, should they increase or decrease the price? So we know elastic demand, total revenue is going to increase if you lower the price of the product. So questions like this you will see on the test and on the quiz. And let's look at this. Let's look at this. Um, table here really quick do you see guys how they show you know loss in the revenue due to um due to um um increased price over here so just 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 think about it when we were charging when we were charging 200 dollars and the quantity we were selling was $12, our total revenue was this big box. Do you see over here? So the price is 200. We were selling 200 units. You take 200 multiply by 1200. So therefore, you know, the total revenue was, was this big um, kind of square over there. When we increase price to 250, now we're selling only eight units now the total revenue is actually this box over here you see so it's 250 we sell in eight units so it's this box over here so just think about it this box okay if you're going to look at let me see i'll take this number do you see that this box overlap with the both of the prices so this is total revenue that we're getting either we charge in 200 or either we charge in 250 okay then we have um we have this increase in revenue because we are charging 250 dollars you see this was increase in the revenue when we started charging 250 but when we start charging 250 what did we lose we lose this big part of our total revenue do you see because the quantity went down so therefore we lost this big part of our revenue and this loss is bigger than this gain in total revenue so um this kind of you know graph shows you I don't know kind of visual representation loss in total revenue you still you know can calculate it by multiply price by quantity but this is a kind of visual you know indication okay that's it guys for this video in the next video we'll talk about price elasticity and total revenue um for the inelastic demand